Welcome home Rat Pack, Marcus here and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest Spongebob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this show happens to have her own Origel toothpaste. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day and if you guys are you know the drill comfort cartoons mail time Camera flip It's about to get a whole lot brighter rap pack because your boy is here and today is gonna be so much fun as always Because we have some packages here from one of you beautiful people in the rep pack today We have a box two boxes actually from our man limestone picker you see this was bulging a little bit here It popped open, but we retaped it here But we haven't seen inside it yet and limestone has sent some packages on this show before so if you guys have seen some of the previous fan mail videos You may recognize his name and also he's a content creator as well too and he has even a series opening up these spongebob wobblers trying to get the gold one before me <laughs> Good luck. Seriously, good luck. I hope you get it. But he's also getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. I mean, who knows? Even by the time of this video being released, he may already have 1,000 subscribers. And he's a member of the Rep Pack and an awesome man. So if we could kind of help him out and push him into 1,000 subscribers, that would be amazing, guys. Go check his channel out down below. And if he's already passed 1,000 subscribers, maybe we can give him a little bit of a you know, motivating start towards 2,000 subscribers. And if he gets 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, he's supposed to be getting a Nickelodeon tattoo. Oh. <laughs> so that should be pretty interesting. If you guys want to go check it out, that link will be down below. But nonetheless, he sent this awesome box here. Let's go ahead and hop on into it and check it out and see what Limestone sent for us to add here in the collection today. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop open this big box here first. It came in this Harbor Breeze box. I need one of these in here, man. That was what I was thinking. I was like, if there's a fan in here, I wouldn't be mad. But let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. I'm sure it's filled with all the stuff that we love here on this show. Nickelodeon stuff, Cartoon Network, Disney, who knows what's gonna be. But of course, at the end of the show, we're also gonna throw Dustin's name on some of the items that we add here in the cavern. He's got his name on a bunch of different items in here. So I can't wait to see what we add today, but also just in general, what Dustin sent. All right, so already off the start here, we got a lot of books, it looks like. Let me get you the little habit of hoobishnah. But let's see here, we got a little note. And I hope you enjoy this. He said, I have a lot of stuff here. And the sad thing is, I was honestly more selective this time. <laughs> Either way, thank you so much, Dustin. All right, so let's take a look. Oh, out the gate. This is awesome. Whoa. We have the Paramount Park SpongeBob water container or drink container here. These are one of those classic containers you get at the actual theme park. You know, you can fill it up uh, an unlimited amount of times if you buy the uh, special container. Yep. Looks like you got this one at the thrift here. An amazing pickup. And the cup is freaking sick here. I just love the style of this. But this is Green Label era, so. Beautiful. 2006. So actually, it's late Green Label era, but it's interesting that they went with a, oops, the Rip Pants episode, because this would have been like seven years after that episode had aired. And most of the Rip Pants stuff is usually Green Label era, but this is kind of diving into the Green and White Label era we have over here. So really cool, though, in Paramount Park, I've never even heard of. Have you heard of Paramount Park? No, I would imagine. I imagine it's probably like, not like, like Six Flags, so that's like Cedar Fairs everywhere else, right? But maybe kind of like Universal Studios. There, there is in Australia that I did look, like I was looking at like stuff to do in there next time, and there is a Paramount Park in Australia. So awesome, and thank you so much. I learned something and I got something cool to add here in the collection. But we also have a bunch of awesome books and media here, so let's take a look. We have some DVDs here, we have some books. Let's grab the books and the DVDs out, and we'll just make a little stack here. Okay, so for DVDs, we have the Nick Jr. Holiday with Dora, Little Bit and also Blue's Clues. We have Winx, The Secret of Lost Kingdom movie, which yes, Winx Club is very famous across North America and in Italy as well too. And the original show was not Nickelodeon, but it is now a Nickelodeon property. As the last 15 years, Nickelodeon's acquired a lot of different properties that you wouldn't even believe, and Winx Club is one of them. And I, it's super, super cool to see we have a little Nickelodeon Winx Club uh, item here in the collection now. We have the Wild Thornberries Season 1 disc set. We have Jim Carrey's Lemony Snicket's 
featuring Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, <laughs> and Jim Carrey. That is so cool. We have all the three pack here of Viking Size Adventure, Last Stand, and also Trident's Revenge. That is a super clutch one to come in. I actually did have this one, but one of the discs, the Last Stand one, was super messed up. So I actually had to exit it from the collection. And this one is very clean. Oh, dang. Little Mitchell cameo. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we have Garfield and the Space Cat. We have True Jackson VP, a throwback. We have iCarly, I am famous. Absolutely, you are Miranda Cosaro. Sorry, Freddy. Uh, Freddy is too, he's, he's on the reboot. <laughs> so iCarly there, we have the Zoe 101 book. And we even have the one girl that had like an attitude and she was there for like the first season and that was just it. That's probably why she was gone. But super cool Zoe 101 book. We have a brand new Blossom and oh, we have Drake and Josh go to Hollywood, the, the movie. movie. This should have been a theatrical film, but it was direct to Nickelodeon. The Drake and Josh movie where they catch a bunch of money counterfeiters. Hey guys! baggie of toys let's check this out so we have this one which is oh my gosh it's a sky from paw patrol and it's like really high-end like die cast figure <laughs> yeah. look how she's her name's sky she just was not in the air maybe her wings come out i feel like her wings come out no no they don't you don't do nothing but shout out to sky next up we have this baggie here he got it looks like filled with different spongebob sports figures so we have the basketball one this one should come with a basketball we have the soccer one which i think this one works kind of like this he pops him up and he should have a soccer ball that goes with this we have the vibrating weightlifting spongebob here that's so cool <laughs> you know count them two it's still too hard we have the tony hawk pro skater three my name is aaron cairo and i'm a sponsored skateboarder from san francisco Bikini bottom area and we also have the karate chopper spongebob here too with the different simple karate chopping gloves on his karate chopping gloves dang <laughs> okay then next up here we have a spongebob plushie very funny here he's doing a little you know giggly laugh here we have some vhs's here we have dora the explorer city of the lost toys and also cowgirl dora we don't have very many dora vhs tapes and they actually went with a black vhs tape for the dora vhs which i'm kind of surprised at but next up we have a bowl that you know i'm gonna gonna be using in my house here. Oh no, all of that hot steamy goodness. Ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I want that hot steamy goodness. That is awesome though. I will definitely be taking this into my kitchen. I do use all of these bowls here. I mean, why use a regular dish when you can use something like this? It's just gonna make you smile at the end of the meal. All right, let's stay with the VHS. We look, they have a lot of media. So let's take a look at this here. We have some awesome ones here. We have Blue's Big Treasure Hunt, which weirdly enough has this gold text on there. Oh, definitely yeah. sets into the treasure vibes for sure. We have Move to the Music with Not Diego again. Oh, this is awesome. Awesome! We have Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events on VHS. Two thumbs up. That is amazing. I do not have this in the collection for sure. And this is an item I didn't even know was a thing. Like I thought it only came out on DVD. That is a banger. So thank you so much for sending that one in. Well, how much that freaking ad was? It was like, oh, on DVD, on DVD. You would have thought it was on laser disc. Yeah. Many times you've seen that ad. This is the story of the three Baudelaire children. And we also have Spongebob Bikini Bottom Bash. That is a sick cover. That's a really clean copy too. Like I think the one that we have is pretty worn out. So that is a really, really clean version of it too. Blue label. Yes, and it is blue. It's like an aqua, an aquamarine logo. Okay, and let's keep it going here. We got a lot of DVDs here. Oh, I already see some that are freaking mind blowing. So we have a new Spongebob movie, which you guys know I'm keeping every Spongebob movie copy that we get. So I can also have like a third dairy, maybe world record of the most copies of the Spongebob movie. So I have <laughs> another one thanks to you, Limestone. Thank you so much. I keep every single one that we get in. So that's incredible. We have Mad Scientist. Now that is a truly incredible disc. I believe this was directly to Nicktoons. I love Edgar and Ellen. It's one of my favorite Nicktoons that nobody really talks about and doesn't get that much credit. And I just, I'm like mind blown. I've never, I didn't even know they had a DVD release, honestly. So this is amazing to be able to have an access point to be able to watch them episodes of Get Grin Helen. This may be like one of the few, if not only, discs that they released. That is amazing. Okay, keeping it moving here, we have Saving the Bengal Tiger, which is like one of the most like rare animals in the world. Isn't it like going extinct too? Some, yeah. You don't really see those at all. Yeah, that's a very fun episode. Oh, dang. 
Oh, we have Victorious right here on the Xbox 360 Connect. We do not have a Connect in this room, but we do not have this game either. So that is perfect to add to the collection a random one. Next up, we have the Abra Catastrophe from Fairly Odd Parents, of course, one of the best specials of all time. We have Nacho Libre, which uh, Parker actually got voted most likely to look like uh, Jack Black, aka Nacho Libre in high school. <laughs> so that is perfect. We have a Loud House little miniature novel here. That bear looks he's saying like, or Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> we have the SpongeBob, the big one here from oh, Box yeah. Off Video. So it's like a, probably a local video store, which is fun on that one. We have Dora's fairy tale adventure here. We have Cowboy Dora. We have Lost City of Gold. So that's the oh, ones we saw on VHS. That's... And as with all DVDs versus VHS, they released them both. So you could just remind yourself how much better DVD was as a platform. So you have way more episodes. But, but this is more fun. Two Wild West adventures. That just says two bonus episodes. Man, I like Wild West Adventures. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. We Ooh. have Blue's Room, which is a smaller, almost like I would say a sequel to the Blue's Clues show, a, a spin-off show that was on and kind of kept Blue's Clues a alive in media and also merchandising until we had the Blue's Clue and You show that is on now. That is so cool. And we have a VHS of it. That's definitely a first in the collection there. So that's really cool. So this is a kind of a transitional disc where it has regular Blue's Clues and with featured within episodes, Blue would go into her, you know, kind of promote the new show. Blue would go into her own room and all of a sudden she became a puppet and she became three dimensional, you know, yeah. <laughs> which is cool. So it's to promote this show coming up soon here, a kind of transitional disc, which is like a piece of history in itself. So thank you so much for sending this in. Oh, House of Anubis, another like a forgotten relic of Nickelodeon's past. This is relatively new, the show, but I feel like it was forgotten very quickly. So this is a book kind of for that show. And then we have Eddie Murphy's Imagine That. Is this a, what? What? I did not know Eddie Murphy's Imagine That was a Nickelodeon film. Whoa! Huh. We can now say Eddie Murphy was in a Nickelodeon movie. I did not know that. So this is actually a Nickelodeon film. You can see down here, it's got the Nick.com logo. Linestone is a big movie buff, so I mean, he would know. I mean, I, I had no clue that this was actually a Nickelodeon film. So that is super surprising to me and a, and a welcome addition to the live action collection. We have Scooby-Doo original movies here, which we do not have this particular pop open cover here. I love the artwork on the inside there. That was kind of the one addition you did get of these covers is when you popped it open instead of having the insert there you got some really cool artwork on the inside tab okay then we have the rugrats halloween oh and then we also have the Dang. spongebob truth or square on wii we again do not have this game in the collection so this is a new addition here and i'm gonna try to take off maybe this sticker but i might leave this sticker on because this is actually for the truth or square they had some grand prizes you could actually win i think it would have been an image that was a spongebob here like ryan can put it on screen like an image of spongebob it's like a silhouette of him on there. So I think maybe they did pull it, but we'll never know if they won. Maybe they won and they like have a brand new freaking car or something. Yeah. And this is the game that they got it with. And I've never played SpongeBob Truth or Square 2, so I, I, I will definitely probably, this will be on my, uh, my list of games I have to play. So next up here, we have a Powerpuff Girls books. Ooh, two new Edgar and Ellen yeah. books. Oh man, I love these covers. These the covers. Eyes on the oh, they're lenticular. Yeah. What the heck? That is dope. Autographed by the author. Is it really? Oh my goodness. It actually is signed. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much for sending this in, Limestone. This is a grail piece, the Toys R Us exclusive one, especially for you, autographed by the author. In, toy, in, in Times Square, New York. Yeah, that's the big Toys R Us. That's the huge one that actually has the Ferris wheel in it. That's sick. Oh man, that Ferris wheel is amazing. They actually had a Nickelodeon cart on there that had like a bunch of different Nickelodeon characters on it. I think they may have even had a Scooby-Doo one of the mystery machine. That's so cool. So it's signed, and he also drew a little, you know, little drawing of actually pet there. That is incredible. And thank you so much for sending this in. That is beautiful. I love it so much. And then we also have the Hey Arnold Urban Games. I think this was maybe Wendy's or something along those lines where it was given out, but it was still a lot of fun there. You have the different pieces, and oh my goodness, dude, I just got hit with a wave of nostalgia. I remember these like little coins, this like 
baseball and basketball, just being like randomly finding them in my closet as a kid all the time. And now I know where they came from was this Hey Arnold game. I remember seeing like, you know, like you're going through one of your toy bins, you know, and you see like in the bottom of that random stuff, you know, I would always see one of these baseballs or one of these basketballs. So now I finally know where they were derived from. That just hit me like a sack of bricks with nostalgia. Start here. So this is a puzzle it looks like. The two sided board game so you put it together. It's like a hopscotch. Oh, that is sick. You're right. It's a hopscotch. Come on, fingers. You got this. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't Wendy's, you know it was Burger King. You know, they were like the kings of Nickelodeon, like promotional toys. We have iCarly on the DS. We do have it on the Wii. And also we have iCarly 2 on the Wii. We did not have it on the DS. This is a new addition. And I heard from you guys and we are definitely going to be doing an iCarly collection video. You guys may have seen the Fairly Odd Parents collection video we've already done. So if you want to see all the stuff we have currently in the Fairly Odd Parents collection, go ahead and check that video out. But some of you guys have been saying you want me to pull my iCarly collection out of the bolt and we will definitely be doing that somewhere down the line here this is awesome oh and then we have hotel for dogs got a game huh i knew this was an actual movie from nickelodeon but i did not know that hotel for dogs got its own game that is wild <laughs> And then we have the Disney Channel Lizzie McGuire soundtrack with features like, of course, Hillary Duff, Smash Mouth, rest in peace. We have Jump 5. We have Play, Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Of Dukes of Hazard fame. <laughs> Dana Dawson. And then just look at that old school Disney Channel logo down there. Wow. It's like a little TV. Looks I like think that's like almost before the... <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. Oh man, you have the all of that soundtrack. Probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. Has artists that have all gone on to be huge, successful people. I mean, half the people on this disc have shirts at Target right now. That is awesome. Oh, dude, and it has the actual. These are back in the days when this, this is back in the day <laughs> when CDs actually had these little pamphlets in them, you know, with a lot of information about the actual album on there. I remember going through my Lincoln Park ones because I had like a bunch of I like band photos and stuff. Oh, that's incredible. You got Coolio right there. You have behind all these the different scenes, behind the yeah. scenes shots of the production of the show. Wow. That is so freaking, oh my, I need this on a t-shirt. Head with Coolio, that needs to be a t-shirt. That's just so cool though. You have a Leo right here too. Just like the nostalgia of going through one of these DVD lists. You know, like I said, Linkin Park had one too. All of the CDs back then had it. You know, now you just download it. And it gives you nothing in the actual physical. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if you download it, if you download it, that's kind of like, whoa, that's, what are you, freaking from 2017? Yeah. Like, like now it's just like, you stream it. This is the Rugrats Activity Challenge. I thought this was the Rugrats CD for a second, but it's the Activity Challenge. We do not have this though, so that's still so cool. Um, CD-ROM. Oh, CD-ROM. Next up, we have the Blue's Clues memory card game. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We have a tin here. We have the SpongeBob and Patrick tin here. I think there is, oh, not a puzzle. Oh, wow. There's a whole lot of fun in this. We have an Azula, like, loose figure with a Sasuke in there. See, even thrift stores think it's just an anime. Oh, a double D. <laughs> you never see Ed, Ed, and Eddie stuff. So a double D is cool. Is it a pullback? Yeah, you know Double D would never hop on a skateboard, though. Never. <laughs> That's definitely just that Eddie thing. Nolly Trey flipping through your block straight cruising. Oh, man. The Blossom one right here. Looks like it's a rocket. She just kind of, oh, it's a bobblehead. That That's is cool. sweet. These are definitely going to go in the Cartoon Network room. And then you also have a Bubbles here that, like, how do you turn it on? Does it do anything when it turns on? Seems like maybe it had audio or maybe it vibrated. It could have lit up. I'm not 100% sure, but we have a little Bubbles figure there, too. I'm pretty sure this is from Paw Patrol. It's uh, definitely from Paw Patrol. <laughs> So is this. I can't name all of them yet. I think, I mean, I've gotten to the point where I can actually name them. We got Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rumble, and I don't know his name or his name yet. I think that's it's healthy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We have the Buzz Lightyear here with a button on. I'm assuming maybe he, he lit up or something. There's a button on this back there. I'm not quite sure what he did, but that's still cool. And then we also have a little SpongeBob notepad here, which we always need notepad paper here. So that's definitely gonna get some good use. Oh, Mitchell spotted something that I just spotted now after Mitchell going, oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at this. That is so 
sick. The Imagination Tin. That is incredible. Look at the side. You get the Squidward artwork, and you also get a little Gary Doodle Bob on there, too. This is, oh, man. That is so cool. Art Class 101, wow. SpongeBob Imagination by the Tin Box Company. This is a must-have down here in our tin collection. Do you think some he of, stuffed it? Oh, he definitely stuffed it. Some of my favorite ones are these little style ones because you can fit so much in these. Some Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Ooh. Ooh, some more goodness. Let's Dang. take a look. We have a Mario Kart figure, a better Mario Kart figure, SpongeBob watch band, and oh yes, this is one of the replaceable ones. So the watch band you would actually be able to replace from this guy right here, and he should pop open. So cool. Of course, his batteries are a little bit, a little bit dead these days, but very fun to see there. It has a replaceable band too to go with it. Do you remember these? And sometimes it would come with like three different heads too, like three yeah. bands, three heads, and you can just interchange them for like twelve watches all together. We have some of the Buzz Lightyear pieces to go to his uh, full size ship for the uh, Buzz Lightyear and Star Command set. And this is Waffle from Cat Scratch. I think he still works. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> a little tiki time party. <laughs> that is sweet. We have a couple different Dorables in here too. These are the OG Dorables. We have Boo. We also have Mike. And I can't remember his name, but yes, he's from Zootopia. I want to say Nick, but I think that might be wrong. But either way, these are so cute. Yeah, his name of Fennec. Name of Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a little Lillian figure here from the Rugrats movie. That was all so much fun to get into. And the tin that it was all contained within is freaking <laughs> legendary. All right, keeping it going here. We also have a bluey figure here, very a uh, bluey plushie. It's kind of cute. Oh, we have a SpongeBob Whoa. clock here. It's lenticular. Do the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like these green jellyfish you never see canonically. That is so cool though, nonetheless. We have Scooby-Doo on VHS, the Monsters Unleashed. We get a Blue's Clues Bowl! Another bowl that I'm definitely adding to my kitchen. That one is so cool too. That one's old too. That's like good for ice cream as well. From year 2000. I love that it's like a paw print. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I thought it was the chair. Oh yeah, I guess it could be that too. I don't know. It looks like it's the thinking chair. You guys let us know what you guys think it is. It could be a paw print or it could be the thinking chair. Or it could be Blue's outline. I'm All three of those are awesome. Okay, we have some more Paw Patrol figures, it looks like, and some other stuff in here. We have, oh, this is definitely going in my Mario stuff. We have D DK there. We have Duke Kaboom's car! <laughs> <laughs> with the great Canadian car. And if it's anything like Duke Kaboom, he'll never land on those wheels. We have a Tiana Dorable there. We have a Jack-Jack Dorable. We're definitely adding those to the Dorables. A little tiny Dum Dum. And another little tiny Dum Dum. We got the kid from Paw Patrol. <laughs> He's standing. No, he's not. Next up here, we have a bag here. I think this is the, it's kind of the artwork. What, what in the world? It's like a freaking Walmart bag. This is wild. Like, it's such a crossbreed of things. So this side is like a photo booth. It looks like photo booth pictures. But if you come to the front side here, this is the artwork they use for the SpongeBob 20th anniversary. But why is Neptune from the movie here? That makes no sense at all. That is a really huh. peculiar style of bag. So it is like as well too. I mean, maybe I just never noticed in the 20th anniversary promotions. Is he in the background, Neptune usually? I just never noticed he was back there. I don't know. Next up we have an unbelievable sponge kite, which eventually me and Mitchell are gonna be doing the video where we go fly a kite for the first time ever. I've never flown a kite in my life. So this will be my dream to fly a kite for one, and not just that being a SpongeBob one, double dreams across the sky. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see that kite video, let us know, but eventually it'll come on the channel. We'll probably be flying a couple SpongeBob kites. The rate is going. We have some Scooby media here. Ooh, this is a good episode too. The What's New Scooby-Doo episode where they actually have like this uh, haunted baseball player here. He's like, throws a meanest pitch you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I feel like I remember seeing that one. He's got a pitch that'll make you run for your life. We have another one from What's New Scooby-Doo here with the pop open as well, too. Like I said, let's check out the artwork on the inside there. Oh, oh, man. oh that's cool, a little baseball. Yeah, the disc. Oh, I remember this episode. That too. disc is incredible, you're right. See, the disc are just not as cool as they used to be. They just can't be, they can't be. This one's cool, but that one's definitely the coolest. No, that one's cool. That one's like straight up Jackie Chan's adventure. You got him and the, the freaking- and the, and the dragon, yeah. Yeah, the dragon out of here. You got him in the showing in like outfit. That's so 
so cool. This is one of the best series ever. The best, maybe. Next up, we have Spectacular on CD. <laughs> Nickelodeon's attempt at high school musical, essentially, but it was its own thing, and uh, you, you probably didn't see it, but you if you did, so mad. then uh, there's, a, there's a CD for it. Okay, and then, oh, this is sick. This is a poster. With Mr. Krabs. From like 2000, this is a probably season two. Still There's no sealed. way to see without opening it up because it's still sealed. This should be the artwork for the box collection for season three and the whole thing is loaded up with different like Easter eggs for that season. You can see Mr. Krabs first dime. And you're not gonna hire him back all because of a stupid dime. You can even see Mr. Krabs' mom's underwear there from the panty raid. Oh, and Sea Bear. Yeah, this is all season three, like, um, little Easter eggs and hints. So, season three is my personal favorite season, too. That's super cool. So, this is something I definitely am going to get framed. That's amazing. All right, next up, we have an iCarly Miranda Cosgrove folder there. We have the Charlotte's Web book. We have Tommy's new playmate, this brother. We have Meet Patrick. Oh man, we have the Meet Squidward book. So now we have the Meet Patrick here. By Tony. Stay in school. Tony. Yeah, yeah Tony, stay in school, you fool. Meet Patrick, and it actually has like little breakdowns oh, on him. That's kind of cool, donated. That's so sick. Oh, oh yes, yeah. we have Squidward doing the How did I get surrounded by such losers? Oh, please, you put me in Patrick's book. There's the best friends. Yeah, so this is pretty much like a whole little Ooh. profile and like breakdown of different images. Just That's Patrick. Cool. Yeah. We had Meet Squidward, Meet SpongeBob, Meet Patrick. I don't know if they had made any other ones. We have Bratz Boys, the sickest line ever. <laughs> Bratz boys. I mean, I love Bratz. Bratz are awesome too. But Bratz boys. Now that's everything. These are the boarding cool with the boys. That is boarding with the boys. I love this. Something about having no nose is just funny. <laughs> so it just talks about skateboarding and how it affects these, you know, these guys' lives. That's so cool. And we also have the Prince of Mihao Kai Land. We have Bad News Bike. We have the Lemonade right here. And what the heck? They made so much merchandise for Hotel for Dogs. They have the Hotel for Dogs. They have a whole book series. The Hotel for Dogs series. Multiple books. What in the world? This is one movie. As if SpongeBob's movie didn't just get like a whole ton of stuff. But I mean, this was like, I have SpongeBob I mean, it's a, a random show. movie. I don't a whole show around it. But also, Lisa Kudrow was in this movie? I had no clue. Okay, so that's an awesome book there. We have Rocket Power hit the streets with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar General, wow. I didn't even know Dollar General had books. I didn't even know Dollar General was a thing. This is like one down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I belong to Jenny Cohen. No, you don't. You belong to Limestone. No, that was the Cartoon Cavern, the Cartoon the, the Rep Pack. Okay, and then we have two big items in here. We also have Blue Song Game here, which who knows if this still works. Some Sometimes these things have randomly like a lot of battery life left, but this one's not the case, unfortunately. And I don't think there's any way you can replace the batteries on these things. This so. one you can. Oh, sweet. Yes, yeah, so you actually could replace the batteries on that one. That's nice. And it's got the old school Steve days there. I would love to see these guys light up and stuff like that. Maybe when we do it on the archive one day, we'll have to put some new batteries in this guy. Okay, now you're going to be mind blown, Mitchell. You maybe remember these. It's next item here. So after this one, this is still amazing though. Green Ooh. Label 2003. Party invites. This is green label party invites. But they That's changed sick. the green label and made the like stripes in it like vert, like more lenticular. It's like, or, a, it's like a sunburst. Yeah. It's like a sunburst green label. I don't think I've ever seen that green label theme before, but kind of because it's a rock star vibe, you know? That's so cool. That's really interesting. I've never seen one with that before. But a new invite and a new green label product. Now, this is gonna be amazing. I cannot believe this is in here. I had multiple of these pencils, and now it explains how I had multiple. This is from Nicktoons Activities, the glitter pencils. Whoa. Nicktoons Activity glitter pencils. Are you kidding me right now? Where the heck did you find, uh, what thrift store, man? In what world did you find these? That is so clean, dude. Look at these freaking pencils. And they're freaking sealed. That is beautiful. You get Jimmy Neutron, Rocket Power, wow. Rugrats. You get a little bit of all three of those guys on the pencils. and I. I had these, dude. I had these pencils. I remember having the blue one, the green one. It's like one of those fleeting memories in your brain where you're like, I don't remember having this box, but I had to have had this box to have had so many of the pencils, right? Right, yeah. Unless yeah. they made like smaller packages of them. This is incredible. And I'm not even gonna lie, part of me almost wants to take the wrapping paper just because over the years got a little bit foggy, you know? I'm gonna leave them sealed, but part of me almost wants to open them just so I could see that glitter and clarity. That is unreal. That is a another grail pick 
up amazing and thank you so much for sending this in limestone picker oh uh, man i just love the purple ones so much and the orange ones are you can pick cool. one pencil you're, you're nine years old you got a five paragraph book report oh man you got five whole paragraphs Mitchell. that's like two pages man that's just like that's like two pages or for me you know four sentences is a paragraph one page <laughs> i hated writing book reports oh man then you go to college and you're like three pages, three, three, three pages. <laughs> i didn't even can't even count that many pages what, what, what do you mean three thousand words so you have to write a five paragraph essay about what you did this summer what color are you picking to get you through it because these pencils got me through those events those traumatic events like purple is my favorite out of all of them but i would hate to like sharpen it so i guess the secondary like best i'd go with the blue blue i would go with that green i love the blue too i think the purple is a good choice that purple is just gorgeous i don't i don't know like it's hard because they're all so cool you know i yeah. guess like if i was gonna like oh i gotta ruin one the pink <sighs> Even that's hard though, because the yeah, basic. I would go with the green one just because it's so satisfying. It gives me the Nick vibes for sure. Oh man, dude. I wish I had that as a kid, man. 30 pencils too. One of that's my so favorite many. items ever. That is so cool. Okay, so that was the first box from Limestone Picker. An amazing haul here. Thank you so much for sending everything in. We still got one more oh, package. I forgot that was, that was a whole another package. A whole another box. Let's take a look at that now. All right, so this one is a little, little pop yeah, open here. Bursting at the seams. Yeah, let's see it though. Something blue. Something blue for you. And me. And it's in our room. What do we got? Give me a clue, it's blue. <laughs> that looks exactly like the VHS one. Yeah, it's kind of like the Blue's Clue and you, blue almost. 2002, we just kind of have to add him over there in the plushie bin with all the other blue plushies. I feel like how many blue plushies did they make? <laughs> Too like, many. They made so many, I didn't even realize. Like, I didn't have one blue plushie growing up. And now you have like seven of her, eight of her. There's so many of her, exactly. I didn't know they made so many, that's incredible. All right, ooh, I love seeing these plates from my kitchen. We have the SpongeBob Ooh, one. That was sick. I think this is from a set called Employee of the Month, maybe. But this is from the Employee of the Month episode, as you can tell right there. Him mopping, trying to compete with Squidward. Surely you gotta have a burger on that. It's got burgers on oh, it. Oh, yeah, I'll put everything and everything on this. What else we got here? We got some more books here. We have the My Adventures. Here's, this is a more recent SpongeBob book. But I think this may be... What the heck is happening? Hey, man, you got a dryer clothes, too. I'm just scouting her out while she's doing it. It's weird. Yes, yes. This is a compilation of a bunch of different SpongeBob mystery books. Ooh. Ooh that that whole have, green page was sick. That is a beautiful duo of pages there. I feel like this... I've maybe seen or read some of these before. So I think this might be a compilation-style book. But that is awesome. It's a... Uh, my Adventures with SpongeBob SquarePants book. Hardcover, too. I love that. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I've wanted one of these for so long. What we have that? Stir, Squirt, <gasps> and Whoa. Sizzle with SpongeBob, Reggie Rocket, and Wanda. We don't know her last name. The fairy. <laughs> Wanda the fairy. <laughs> That is so sweet. And then we have Cosmo back here and too. mac and cheese. Oh man, look at that freaking artificial Ooh, cheese. Gooey. You know it tastes way better than regular cheese. Oh yeah, rich and chewy, bikini bottom, butterscotch brownie. That sounds so good. We still have to do the Scooby-Doo cookbook first, but this has got to be on our list for the Comfort Cartoon Kitchen. I got to see at least one recipe. Oh, you want to see one recipe? Yeah, I want to see one. Ooh. Chester cheesy pizza? Look Are at you the crimson chin nuggets. What? Oh my God. God! <laughs> that is awesome! You know, like, he got the chin up here. <laughs> the little chin nugget! Oh my goodness, dude. Every one of these could be their own video. Plankton's in a blanket, and then... Spongebob's sea nut butter. Sea nut butter and jellyfish, jellyfish jelly sandwich. Wow. That is so much fun. Poofy rice. We can't look at all of these. We gotta save some of them. Waffles. Wild boy. Berry waffles. Extreme scrambled eggs. What does Jimmy oh, got? a Squidward. Oh, what is Squidward? Pasta Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> Gary got one too. Gary Globs. What is this? What the heck? I think that's supposed to be his poop. Look, it's literally oozing off of him. <laughs> that is disgusting, but also looks really good. I would eat the heck out of Gary's Globs. Oh, they dried noodles. Wow, man. There's so much fun to be had. Oh, this. A, a slime cake? A birthday cake for Nickelodeon. You already know that's on my friggin' to-do list. This just opened up a world of different content for the Comfort Cartoon Kitchen. Oh, Cosmo's chocolate shake. So. And they have even little labels, too. Got stickers Got with the actual, like, these stickers are exclusive to this book. That is another 
just cherished item here in the collection. The Nickelodeon, this is going over there with the Nickelodeon Dictionary and the Nickelodeon Cards Mania. Just as like a unique, like collaborative book, you know? That is just sweet. Sweet, 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 literally. Okay, so keeping it going here, oh yes. We have a SpongeBob Ooh. green label ornament here. This is definitely gonna be going on the Nickmas tree this year for Whoa. sure. It's interesting, he actually has Pearl on there. Yeah, I know, it's surprising they actually put Pearl on the list there. I mean, Mr. Crab probably just put Pearl on there to save himself a couple bucks this year. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But coming up soon here, we're gonna be decorating the Nickmas tree. I mean, it's only a couple months away. We do have Halloween. I'm hoping we can decorate the room for Halloween this year. We are gonna be having some construction going on here with the roof over the cavern. So if that ends up taking up too much time and too much space going on with the construction, we may have to postpone Halloween this year, but we're gonna try our best for sure to be doing some decorating for Christmas time. But I'm hoping we can still maybe make some stuff happen in here, even if it's some minor stuff for Halloween time. You guys know how much I love Halloween. Halloween, how much I love decorating the room, but at the same time, I don't want to decorate everything and then it ends up getting in the way for the construction happening. But that is still awesome though. We got the ornaments add to the tree this year. Oh yes! Yes! We have the Bikini Bottom Adventures here. I have been looking for this DVD for I don't know how long. You'll never get it better than what he got it for, that's for sure. <laughs> what dollar? Damn, what a steal, dude. I've been looking for this disc forever. And it's interesting, because I think this is 2007, but it still has the old school SpongeBob logo on there. I guess that kind of still makes sense. That is incredible, and it's got the getting to know the Bikini Bottomites game. Now that's a game I want to take a look at eventually. When we do the archives for the DVDs, we're going to be diving inside of the menus of all these as well, checking out the games inside of them and more. So eventually we'll definitely be checking this out. But we have some more media coming out here. We have the SpongeBob Expose book, which we recently featured here from Steve Banks. And I don't know if the lenticular was removed and maybe was here at one point, but there's no like rips or any inclination that that's what happened. So I think this may be like a second printing of the book, which is so cool to be able to add it to the collection because maybe that means that the one with the exposed thing was kind of maybe a little controversial or maybe a little bit pushing the lines a little bit. So therefore they made a more, you know, blanketed one right here, but their expression still matches him being naked. <laughs> You're like, why are they just so afraid of him just standing in there you know but i think it might be like a secondary version of it yes i was right they're different productions and we're learning something new with both copies here oh man i love collecting <laughs> so this one has the lenticular here with the expose and i think i'm actually gonna retire this one this one was actually sent by don and t-dog and i'm gonna retire this one because as i've been reading it it's kind of been like lifting up here so i'm gonna re-glue this here with a little dab of uh hot glue so that way it's on there and i'm gonna retire this one to the archive because this one has this you know and it's like this one doesn't have this so I don't have to worry about reading this one more I've been just kind of just using this for notes and just kind of checking out the whole book and it's such an incredible read and when I was reading through this book I noticed that this one here at the end it has this card that was pulled out it says the end and it has this certificate or something that was cut out here and I was curious what was there the one that Dustin sent here does actually have it in there and it says congratulations you are now officially a number one Spongebob fan you have soaked up a boatload of knowledge and can now go forth as a proud honorary bikini bottomite. That is so incredible. Now we're now I'm certified. This certifies that Marcus is the number one SpongeBob fan in the whole entire world. That Authorized by Painty. Well, now I'm certified and Painty approved it from the lips of Steven Hillenberg himself. Yeah. I am a certified number one fan. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, next up here we have some more DVDs. Oh, what? Gym we have teacher. Gym teacher sealed. <laughs> that is so cool. This is actually a Nathan Cress original film here, but it actually has the kid from uh, Victorious too. You can see he was part of the Nickelodeon family there early. It also contains Bruce Jenner's failed summer games as a bonus feature. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't even know Bruce Jenner made summer game stuff. Yeah, I didn't even know he was in a Nickelodeon movie. He was an Olympic hopeful with promise until. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> 
We also have SpongeBob the Christmas cover. I don't I don't know if we have this cover. We of course have the SpongeBob Christmas DVD, but I don't know if we have that cover. So that's a new one. We have the Naked Brothers movie here. We have Ghoul's Fool. We have another show that just completely got deleted from my brain. Jack's Big Musical Show. We have Food with Friends, the SpongeBob movie, the SpongeBob movie, and the SpongeBob <laughs> movie. That's still not enough copies of the SpongeBob movie. It's such an incredible film. You could have hundreds and still need more to watch. I feel like I gotta see like an entire shelf over here, just all yellow lined up. We will definitely, well, there's two in this one. There's three, there's- <laughs> Oh, we there's got a bonus. <laughs> there's three discs in each one, and then one just has another disc for no reason. <laughs> just in case you wanted an extra disc. <laughs> that is awesome. And of course, as we get like a tower, there's just gonna be like somewhere on the side here, like a podium of just like an obelisk <laughs> of Nickelodeon of SpongeBob the movies. Like we need to get more SpongeBob the movies. Just have like an actual tower just up to the roof of just freaking SpongeBob movies. Okay, next up we have Max and Ruby's Christmas. We have Max and Ruby's Springtime. They have a lot of springtime movies. The rabbits, you know, go figure. We got this Max and Ruby Merry Bunny Christmas. We have Ah oh, Monster Trucks, which is a Nickelodeon movie. And I think that they cost them like a ridiculous amount of money to make this movie. And it was also designed by, I think, like one of the directors, like kids, came up with a concept. Yeah, a re records day. With uh, Lazy Town. And with Lazy Town here, we have Attack of the Thwonky, which also has its very own video game. That's awesome. We have Sea Trouble here, Jimmy Nooch. Ron. Just Nooch. That's what I call him. We're, we're friends like that. We've been friends for years. We've <laughs> been friends for years. We have Girl. the main event. We have Have a Grinch Stole Christmas, <laughs> the original. Oh, wow. Plus Horton, here's a who. What? Plus Horton. Oh, I thought you said who. Here's a who. <laughs> <laughs> and we have on VHS with the red Ooh. cover. I've never, I don't think we have it in a red cover, like a red copy like this. That's really cool though. The Hey Arnold movie. And then we also have the Ren and Stimpy classic here with the black Nickelodeon box. We need to get more VHS. Those look so good. We need to get more of these in the collection. I think we have like two right now. The Ren and Stimpy box there. We have the Little Bear, Springtime Tales. We have the Santa experience here. And finally, Finally, I think this is the perfect way to end it off here as Ariana Grande and Janet McCurdy ended their Nickelodeon time. We have Sam and Cat, <laughs> which is our first ever Sam and Cat disc in the collection. It also contains the pilot for the show, Ooh. which that is gonna be interesting to check out. So we have that as well there. And on that note, we have, oh wait, we have one more item here. We have the Nickelodeon Glow in the Dark GAC. Whoa. Yeah, so we have the GAC Glow in the Dark here from, this is the reboot they did of GAC in about 2017, 2018. So this is actually a little piece of a, Trying little piece of is. the later Nickelodeon history here with GAC. They have, you know, slime came back, so they kind of made a lot of the GAC stuff for a little while at Target. What is it? Is it like a rock? Or like a oh, GAC, you want to know more about GAC? Well, Ryan, let's help him out. What is GAC? GAC is great stuff. Oozy. <laughs> so thank you so much to Limestone for sending this over. Incredible as always. Again, go check him out on YouTube. Appreciate the man, the legend so much. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys show some love to Dustin down below. This video would not have been possible in any form without Dustin sending this stuff over here for this series. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Dustin. And make sure you guys show him some love, like I said, in the comments down below. If you guys want to send any fan mail, the address is on screen right now. That's the address you can send whatever you want to you never ever have to send anything to this scale if you just want to send a letter or some artwork we appreciate whatever comes in thank you so much if you have sent some mail in we read every single letter and we open up every single piece of fan art whatever it is we check it out but stay tuned we're gonna add some of these banger items to the collection but before that you know the drill scan it So you guys know when it comes to these lunch tins right here, I want to collect all the different SpongeBob tins that they release. And some of these softer ones, the igloo back here, eventually I'll move, but that's until we get enough of these tin ones. This is a brand new one right here, the Imagination one. I'm gonna put it right here next to our pirate one. And I got this smaller one that we have from Walmart here. I'm gonna put this one right in here because it's a little bit smaller. And now it's really starting to stack up there. I love it. Like I so said, there's some smaller stuff that could be moved here down the line, but until we get more tins, it looks amazing. When it comes to most of the Nick's 
stationary stuff. A lot of it we put into the filing cabinet, but every now and then there's certain stationary items that just have to work into our book section. And those Nick Activity glitter pencils are just so iconic for me in my childhood. Just looking at the packaging makes me smile. I mean, everything in this room makes me smile, but that one was such a throwback. I wanted to add it here next to our Nickelodeon dictionary and card mania. Okay, and for the DVDs, I'm gonna be putting these guys right here in one of our SpongeBob bins. We fill these bins up and then they eventually get organized. And we're gonna be getting a second filing cabinet just for media within time as we're working on a lot of things in the room. But this guy right here just got emptied out. So we're adding those in there. And we're gonna add a couple of the VHSs in there as well, especially some of the Nick Jr. ones. And I have to take a look at our copy and see if we have this red box version. But for right now, it's going right in here too. But we're gonna be adding these two guys into our background over here with our other media because these are two videos that I plan on watching very soon here, especially this one because I've never seen this movie on VHS before. I was worried we were gonna run out of space here for the SpongeBob movies, but what he doesn't know is look at this. Boom, more space. So we did have this one of the DVDs, but if you check this out, this one is thrashed. So I checked out this one Dustin sent and the condition is way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this in right here with our SpongeBob DVDs. And we got a few of these triple packs. I don't know how many of them they released, but I love these things so much. It's a nice easy way to be able to access multiple DVDs and conserve space in the collection. So another triple pack added to the collection. Okay, so for the DS games, we have Hotels for Dogs, which I didn't even know had a game. And then we have the iCar game. I'm going to put that over here with all of our DS games. And then for the Wii version of Truth or Square, I will be playing this for sure. Victorious, maybe more of a collectible than a playable, but I'm going to put both of these guys right over here with our other DVD sized boxes. Okay, for our SpongeBob My Adventure book, he just barely squeezes in there. So we're actually going to slide him into the backside of this one, which is actually a lot of the other SpongeBob Adventure books. So it fits perfect there and Bubsy still has a little bit of room there before he has to start blocking things off. Rocket <laughs> Power and also Tommy's new playmate are both going inside here at the other Nickelodeon books. Actually, Rocket Power, I'm gonna take this one out. And we're gonna put this over here because we have a few other Rocket Power books so we can kind of start working on this shelf here. So for all the Zoe 101 Drake and Josh books, I added them in with this little collection we have here. And I'm adding this into this shelf as well. And we are getting our way closer to 1,000 books. And for the two Edgar and Ellen books, we're adding that to the Edgar and Ellen collection we have right here. Which as of right now is, well, there's only four books. <laughs> so it's starting to grow. Okay, and we added the Nick Cookbook Stir, Squirt, and Sizzle. I think this will eventually be going inside of our expanded Galay Grub, but just so I still remind myself that we have to do a video on those, I'll have it there as like a visual reminder. I still wanna do the Scooby-Doo Cookbook first and then do this one, but this will kind of be a reminder for both of them that I have to get those videos done eventually. You guys would not believe how many video ideas I have on like the back catalog, like probably next to like 100 videos and I'm like oh yeah that would be cool that would be cool that would be cool but like you know trying to do all the videos that we want to do and then ones that are timely with new stuff coming out too it's just hard to organize them mentally but <laughs> those are ones I would like to do plates and bowls these are going into my personal kitchen where I use these plates for everything that I eat because it's just way more fun than regular plates so I'll be using these and I just realized too that both of these went to the same set so that's an awesome little combo thank you so much I am going gonna have months and months and months, years and years of smiles because of these guys. And this guy, maybe every now and then I might fill him up with some Coke Zero, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna put it in the expanded Galay Grub. We have this green label kite, and this is the one that we are going to use for the first time flying a kite video, but thanks to Dustin sending this one, I think we might actually use this one, and I can just keep the green label one here in the collection. And this one we can actually use for that video. Maybe we'll get a couple other ones to see some different designs. But thank you so much, Dustin, for this one. This one is a amazing and honestly probably a better build quality than the original green label one considering this one had a couple more years of trial and error and for the party cards i'm actually going to add this on our green label shelf underneath it we have a couple items like that that just kind of work perfect for just being like kind of like little shelf liners on the bottom here to kind of fill in the green label shelf and just kind of give it that whole green label vibe still need a couple more of them but like i said as this gets expanded we're going to be putting cork boards up for many of the items but damn i just love this shelf speaking of the green label i would love to put this on our green label shelf but I am putting all of our ornaments aside so we have new ornaments for the Nickmas tree as that continues to develop. I think this would just look beautiful on the Nickmas tree this Christmas season. I'm hoping we get some decorating for Halloween. It may not happen as due to some of the construction we're gonna be doing with the roof.
roof here in a little bit. But for sure, we're gonna be able to do Christmas and this guy's gonna go perfect. So thank you again, Dustin. I love little items like this for variety and like there's not a lot of Cat Scratch items out there in general. You have some of the other characters from Cat Scratch in here. I think Mr. Blink is hidden around here somewhere. But if I were to have one character just kind of represent Cat Scratch, it would be a Waffle and I think this figure does that perfectly. So I'm actually gonna add him right here next to Danny Phantom and this little variety shelf here. I think he just kind of fits in because he's kind of in that same era, late era of Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom. So he looks great there. So for the Blue's Clues plush, you can see him up there. It always amazes me how many Blue's Clues plush that they made back in the day. I want to just kind of keep adding to it. So we got him up there too now. Last item in the cavern, we have this poster right here, which is the season three poster. One of my favorite seasons, if not my favorite season of all time. I would love to get a frame for this someday. So for right now, it's going to go into the vault. But man, this will be cool one day when we have more space, hopefully to be able to expand on this. Or if anything, I'm going to put this inside because season three is the best. Okay, and the glow in the dark Gak. Also, this fits in perfectly with the Nickelodeon LaMelo Ball shoes. So add it over here with all of our sliminess. Which is a word I'm coining on Comfort Cartoon. Sliminess. Okay, so if you guys collect, you guys know your collection is never really done. You're always just reorganizing it, and that's part of the fun. So all of my extra adorables I put inside here. So we're gonna put the adorables in there. And my favorite ones I do put on display, but right now they're a little bit disheveled. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them inside of our container here for now. So guys, that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack the like button. I had a blast as always, and thank you again one more time to Dustin Tucker for sending everything in. If you guys want to send some fan mail, the address will be on screen right now. You never ever have to send anything to this extent. We can check out every single letter, fan art, whatever you guys send in so that address is on screen. And if you guys haven't already and you want to support the show further, check us out on Patreon where for as little as $5 a month you can sign up and it helps out the show immensely. You'll get an extended version of this video and every other video I upload on YouTube as well as early releases behind the scenes and a bunch of other perks so go check that out and if you want $15 off of some of the collectibles that you love and the stuff that we collect here go check out whatnot it's a buying and selling platform where you get $15 for free when you sign up that you can use to buy something for free literally just go pick something up for free or you can use it to get a deep discount on something you've been waiting to add to your collection so that link will be down below but as always rep pack I'll see you guys over here and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video adios and Bloop.